Good afternoon folks, this is Ash and uh, I'm here to talk about Grill Dome 101. So I've got a friend of mine from North Carolina that's decided to buy a Grill Dome and I told him I'd get a little quick video out. Uh, this is a Grill Dome and basically how the Grill Dome works is that the air goes in through the bottom, out through the top and uh, it, it smokes um, rather, rather nicely. The dome itself has a uh, firebox in the bottom. There's the top grate. There's a firebox all the way to the bottom. And then there's a fire ring that the grate uh, sets on. To start a fire, you basically use lump charcoal. What I have here is lump charcoal setting next to some briquettes. The reason we use lump charcoal is basically because it burns a lot cleaner with a lot less ash and it's also much much hotter. To start a fire many people build their fire from the bottom up using uh, larger coals in the bottom and, and then filling in with the smaller coals. Um, Many people use the electric starter such as this. This I happen to use because it's fast and uh, works. There's also these fire sticks that you can buy. This is just from camping and you can get them at Walmart for under three bucks. And you use about an inch of that and in a couple of different spots to light a fire. And uh, to light the fire, you just either put one of those two down and put it in. You close it and you open the vent on the bottom and on the top so that you begin to get a fire and you just monitor what temperature you want to go to what I've basically found that in the bottom if I go two fingers it's about 325 to 350 degrees um, there are different types of cooking that are done on a Kamado cooker or a grill dome one is direct cooking, that's with the coals down, as you can see here, and a grate on top. There's also a method called indirect. And the indirect uses a double decker, which this is, it can set in any number of ways, but when the double decker goes down. And what many of us have found to be useful is just an old steel 12 inch fry pan. Uh, I got this one at Walmart for 18 bucks and uh, just cut the handle off as I did here and that's kind of a setup for indirect and then you can put the grate on here and bake or cook indirect such as uh, your butts and uh, your those type of things in addition another one can be add, added to increase the height again. So there's a, a direct and an indirect cook. Some of the things you need to watch out for when you are cooking is something called flashback. And flashback occurs when you're cooking really really high heats and you get uh, oh it starts starving for oxygen and you open the, the grill up and it'll flash back right at you. So it's very, very uh, dangerous to do that. So there's a method we just call burping. So when you walk up, you just burp the grill like that, and then you can open it, and it's totally safe at that point in time. Shut down on a grill dome is very, very easy. It's just simply, once you begin, or once you end cooking, just close the bottom vent, and wait until the temperature gets below 250 before you top close the top vent. At that point in time you'll begin to save charcoal and that you can use again next time. Uh, it's frequent that you can get three four cooks out of one full load of charcoal. With that this is Ash and I hope you enjoyed Grill Dome 101. 